All right, hey guys, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the different types of uh, drill bits that we use as electricians. Uh, this is gonna be really eye-opening for you if you are brand new and you've never really uh, been an electrician before. All right, so depending on if you are a residential or a commercial electrician, you're gonna use more or less of these bits, okay? Before we get into it, definitely check out my free book I have written for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe, and you guys will get my free book if you sign up with your name and email. All right, the first drill bit I wanna talk about is what's called an auger bit, okay? Now this is a little short auger bit. You can see that this one here is actually quite long. And we use this one for drilling into wood when we are uh, drilling for our wires. Typically, we are putting these on heavy duty drills and typically they are very, very long. And so the benefit of an auger bit is as it drills, it's actually pulling out the wood and it's, it's allowing you to keep drilling without uh, the bit getting kind of clogged up, okay? You can sharpen these. Uh, I would highly suggest watching a YouTube tutorial because you can sharpen them the wrong way but these are very powerful drill bits. Again, they're called an auger bit. There's different sizes. When you are putting them into the heavy duty drills, you wanna make sure that you are um, using the correct size. You don't wanna use one that's too big or, because um, if it's too big, it's gonna be hard on the drill. Eventually the drill burns out. If you uh, use one too small, well, you're gonna have to be drilling more holes, which means more time. So you want the sweet spot, okay? Um, also, you can um, drill through nails with these, but I highly uh, recommend that you do not because it will dull them. But again, you can sharpen them. The next one I wanna talk about is a spade bit. Now, uh, when it comes to spade bits, you can see that this one here is a little bit angled. All right, so yeah, see, you can see it's more angled. This one here is more flat. I didn't really like the flat ones. So if you are looking for a spade bit, um, I do like the ones that have a little bit more angle. These ones are by Bosch. Now. We don't really use spade bits too much as electricians, but I always really liked them if I needed to quickly pop one or two quick holes for one or two wires quickly. All right, that's where a spade bit came in. Be very careful with these when it comes to nails. Never use them with nails, you will destroy them. Um, and I just wanted to show you that um, usually I keep a couple sizes with me, but you can see I've used this one quite heavily. It has no more teeth, so it's pretty useless now. One thing I wanna say about this spade bit is if you want a nice clean hole, you can drill the hole until this sticks out um, like the wood. So imagine my finger's the wood. So you would drill through, and as soon as it sticks through, you can take it out, and then you can come in from the other side in that same hole, and you will get a super clean hole. One last thing I wanna talk about with the spade bit is there are extenders sometimes, which this was useful, but you gotta be really careful because sometimes this can get lost, you know, so like these can let go. But this is useful to have sometimes if you need to drill a little extra further. Okay, so that's pretty much it for like residential kind of stuff is you have your auger bit and sometimes I used to like using spade bits. Now, typically your company will provide you auger bits. The spade bits I actually purchased on a personal level, but I did find that they really allowed me to have a better experience out there. Now I wanna, I wanna talk about more about the uh, commercial side of things, okay? So I wanna talk to you guys about a hole saw. A hole saw is very, very common as a commercial electrician. You will probably be using this as a residential electrician sometimes too, uh, but how it works is this little piece inside is called an arbor, okay? It's really important to understand how these work. So you can see on the actual hole saw, it actually has two holes right here. So there's two different styles of arbors. There's ones that have like two little pins and they go in there, they lock in. Uh, that one works really, really good. This one as well, you can see it's not fully round, okay? So it's kind of, uh, you know, the, these, these ends are straight and with the circle. And you can see that here, um, you can see that this is round, but then this is flat. And so it allows it to go in like this. All right, it goes in nice and flat and then you tighten it. And so this here is called an arbor, okay? Again, there's different styles of them. If your drill bit ever breaks, you can change it out with um, an Allen key. And so that's pretty much the basics of a hole saw. When you wanna use a hole saw is typically uh, cutting through drywall or plywood or something, and you are wanting to slide a pipe through or a feeder, like a, a bigger wire. So typically, let's say uh, like um, a two inch pipe or something, that's where you're gonna be using a hole saw, okay? They work really, really good. The whole trick to them is essentially with all drill bits is you're not like, 
When you're using your drill, you're not just pushing super hard. You're allowing the drill bit to work its way. So as you are holding down, you know, you're just kind of working your way in. And uh, what happens is usually uh, the drywall and the plywood will get stuck in here. So uh, many times you might have to take off the arbor and use like your flathead or uh, just like some clines and just kind of uh, gently just kind of uh, tap it and eventually it'll fall out. Sometimes even on your drill, you can just kind of keep pulling the trigger and eventually it will come out as well. Okay, so that's a hole saw. This one, it just slides through and then you tighten down the nut. All right, and then it's good to go. So you put that on your drill. What makes it really powerful is uh, you just, so whatever your center is, you wanna get your center and then you work your way, all right? Again, there's also just kind of different sizes there are of these. These are just like really, really cheap ones. But again, um, as you can see, when you go down to like the smaller sizes, it doesn't have those two holes. And let's see, so even this, this one here, so these two do not. And once you start getting into the bigger sizes, it is gonna start having those two pins. Now, I wanna to talk to you about uni bits or step bits, okay? Now, these are really, really valuable on a job site as a commercial electrician. We are always having to drill holes into panels or boxes for um, pipe. And what I wanna say is there are very, very expensive step bits or uni bits, all right? And then there is very, very cheap ones. And Honestly, the super, super cheap ones have done me super well. Now, again, typically your company is gonna be providing you for these. I would not suggest buying these expensive ones. They're like 50 to $70, they're very expensive. And the problem I find with a lot of these expensive ones is you can see that um, over time, they usually get a dull spot, which makes it really hard to keep drilling through. And typically when you are using them, you want to put your drill into like gear one. So like uh, it goes slower because what happens with drill bits, including these drill bits I'll talk about in a second, is when you drill too fast, the heat can destroy these things, all right? So you want to kind of uh, make a pilot hole. So typically you'd make a pilot hole with something like a, a normal drill bit, and then you can use... Um, your uh, step bit. Sometimes they even use like a, a tech screw. So those are just like the screws with like little uh, self drilling bit. So as you can see this one here, you know, like it, it, it's dulled out. So once you, so if I'm drilling up to here, everything's good, everything's good. And then right here, it'll always be like, oh, it gets stuck. And then eventually after you, you do have to push quite hard now, then it will get into like the, um, the good teeth. So these two are essentially the same. This one's a little bit bigger, allows you to do uh, one inch pipe. This one is pretty much only to like a three quarter pipe. And you can see it's a little bit sharper um, just because it's newer. Um, and one thing I want to say is if you if you can get your hands on one of these on the job site, you want to keep it in your bag. You want to keep it around because they're so valuable. And many times when you're an apprentice, they don't give you them. Okay, so if you can, so if a journeyman can somehow say, hey man, here's a uni bit or a step, again, a step bit, I believe they're like the interchangeable word. If you can get your hands on these things, keep them. Okay, they're so valuable. I, again, I just want to quickly talk about these cheap step bits. All right, so typically they come in like a pack of three, and I'm telling you that I have drilled through so much metal with this thing and it never became dull. It was absolutely amazing. Like, I mean, so much metal. Like these things, like I said, eventually they kind of get like um, a dull spot. And I never experienced that. With, and this thing was like $10 versus like 70, right? Another thing I want to say that if you are using step bits and there is a company drill, go and grab that company drill. Last thing I wanna talk about is just a regular drill bit, okay? So uh, typically we are using these to either create um, an initial pilot hole for our step bits into metal, or we are just um, drilling a big enough hole, like for example, if we wanna use like a ready rod or something. But typically I always like to make the hole just a little bit bigger for that ready rod and then you just use like a washer because Sometimes you never drill the hole perfect to get your your um, your pipe racks to line up, and so if the hole's just a little bit bigger, you can always just kind of slide that pipe rack over, and then again you just crank it down with a washer and a lock ring on there with the nut. Okay, so this is just your typical drill bit. I usually call them like a like um an index bit, but it is I guess just like a, a metal drill bit, and so uh, t sometimes with these drill bits you can be using drilling oil, um, but typically I would just 
just send it. <laughs> I would just drill with these things. Um, I purchased this myself and I've heard on the job site that how it usually works is you have a pair and then if yours break or burn out, the company is supposed to replace them for you. Um, but it, again, it all depends on the company you work for. But most of these things the company will supply for you. For example, they will supply like the hole saws, they will supply the uni bits, they will supply the auger bit. The spade bit is a personal purchase. I did like it. Um, sometimes you can buy them in kind of like a pack and I just only bring a couple with me to site. Otherwise, you know, they, they can get heavy. All right, so that is this video about just the different types of drill bits that we use as electricians. These are the most common ones I've seen, or sorry, uh, I didn't talk about this one. So this is for a hammer drill, okay? Nowadays, your um, actual real drill typically has a hammer drill setting. And if you have to drill into real concrete, I highly recommend that you do not use your real drill. Uh, to me, it feels like you're drilling with like a Fisher Price uh, little toy, and it just doesn't sound good on your drill. So if you're gonna be using, um, a hammer drill bit to drill into concrete make sure to go get the real hammer drill with the proper bit um, if you are going to be drilling into like cinder block which is much softer you know material than something like this with your uh, real um, you know, drill driver you could use so how this works is um, we drill into the concrete okay after we drill we put uh, a, a, an insert in that we can then screw into okay so it's called an anchor and so the head just kind of looks like this it looks pretty much just like a normal uh drill bit but this is a hammer drill bit it's meant to go into concrete and it looks just like this okay and how it works is it just allows it to slide as it's hammering in and it's important to say when it comes to concrete you don't just want to be drilling a huge hole okay so for example, whatever your anchor is, okay, so for example, there's like those blue inserts, which are horrible. Uh, there's also these anchors called Alex anchors, A-L-E-X, and I believe it stands for aluminum expansion anchors. They're a little alligator clip. They work really, they, they work way better. You can actually screw into them. Those little blue inserts, you know, eventually like your, your pipe can fall out. So those are not good inserts. But anyway, so those blue inserts or the Alex anchors, they're about this long so typically what you would do is you'd be like okay so this is my length you can do this you can also put tape around it as well um, sometimes i find with tape what happens is um, the tape will eventually slide down but you can use tape right or you can just make a mark and you're like okay that's it so when you're drilling in you only want to go in that far because what happens in concrete is sometimes your core line could be in there so your for example your own pipes and especially if wires are already pulled in there, you can drill into it. Sometimes there is your feeders, which are embedded in the concrete, so you don't wanna to go too far. And so that's it, okay? So here is a hammer drill bit. Just be careful on how far you are drilling in, and then you put your anchor in. I can always make a separate video about that. Um, okay, so there you guys go. So I hope that helps you guys out. Again, don't forget about my free book I have for you guys as apprentice electricians. Just go to becomingalectrician.com forward slash subscribe and you guys can sign up for my free book with your name and email. Leave comments below if you have questions or suggestions on different videos. I hope this video helps. It's really gonna help you understand the different styles of drill bits that we use. We don't use too many, and I'm sure maybe we use a couple others, but these are the most common ones I've seen. And by watching this video, I know it's gonna help you out, out there. It's gonna give you the knowledge and confidence so that nobody can really make fun of you, okay? All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. <music>